So today we have the Palmetto State Armory Jackal and we have 500 rounds of ammo loaded up here. Exactly. I even got the 20 rounder here and we're going to go ahead and put this through the Jackal, see if it's reliable and see how it runs. We're also going to be running it unsuppressed for about the first 100 or 120 and then we do have a Sandman S and we're also going to try an e-brake on the Sandman S to see if this does run unsuppressed as well as suppressed. Ah, the PSA Jackal. So full disclosure before we get into it, Palmetto State Armory did send this Jackal out for testing and review. So we are grateful for that. But that being said, 500 rounds is 500 rounds. Let's see if it holds up and if it's reliable. As I showed you, we already have the 500 rounds loaded up. So all we have to do is go ahead and get this guy out. We're gonna get the mags in here and let's start shooting. I did already zero this. I burnt about 35 rounds zeroing this for 100 as well as then we have the optic on top. For the ammo we're using today, we have PMC and the PMC X-Tac, all 55 grain ammo loaded up here. 5.56 five, of course. And then as far as mags, we have the Amen 2 Mod C mag. We have some Magpul Gen 2 mags. We have the Amen 2 clear mags. We have a 20 round Dura mag. And lastly, we have a 30 round Dura mag. So with that, let's go ahead and get loaded up and get right into it. First mag down, let's keep going. All right, so you saw three mags there and I did have one mag to zero the optic here, but I wanna run this gun suppressed most of the time. So let's go ahead and get the suppressor on. Again, we are gonna be using a Dead Air Sandman S. This is the J-Mac muzzle device. It's pinned and welded on this 13.7 barrel here. So if you got a Sandman S, go ahead and ratchet it on. You should be good to go. While we're here, I did wanna mention that this is the updated Jackal. There's a couple different things from the first iteration that they came out with. One of them you can see here is the charging handle. You do have this little Jackal logo on it and it's more of a knob than like a little floppy thingy. But the other big thing that we have here is the adjustable gas block. On the earlier models, this looked more like a plug, but you can see this has like four little things and it's easy to adjust just with your finger here. And I will say when I was zeroing it, we have it turned all the way to the right right now. And that's the setting to run it unsuppressed. I closed it all the way to the left and it would not cycle the bolt or the round. But now that it's suppressed, we do want to adjust this, see what our ejection pattern is. So that way we do get a good ejection and we have hopefully less gas in the system. So to adjust this here, it is really hot. You could just use your finger if it wasn't hot, but I'm gonna use a cartridge here. But all you have to do, as you can see, it's very easy to click into place. There's seven settings here. And let's go ahead, we're gonna close it all the way off, see what happens like this with the suppressor on it. All right, so with the adjustable gas block all the way the opposite way now, let's go ahead and insert a mag with the same ANS on it and see if it functions. So no ejection on that, so we do need to dial it back. Let's actually do the opposite. I'm gonna go back to the setting for unsuppressed, see if it cycles there, and then we'll tune it backwards. Oh, so you see we got a jam there. So let's go ahead. We're going to adjust the gas again here. Let's click it one back that way. All right. So we did get an ejection. And we got another little stove pipe guy there. Let's click the gas setting one more. All right. And another stove pipe. It was running good. So... Click it one more, see what happens. All right, I think we might've found a good spot here. Let's get another mag in. Oh, that was a P mag, didn't want to feed right there. Come on, baby. Well, that was fun. So that was a full P mag there and it didn't want to feed there. You can see it got stuck on the feed ramp and then dented our casing. So that guy's no good. Let's try, see if it works this time. All right. So it is functioning here, but let's see if we can dial this another click, see what happens. Cause it is pretty gassy here. All right, let's do one more click, see what happens. Oh, 
It feels so sluggish on that setting. Like it's almost not gonna malfunction or it's not gonna function. Huh. Yep, so we got to the point where it won't cycle again. So let's go two settings back. I think that was good. All right, that one's out. Man, so it is a little bit finicky as far as that gas block here. Obviously, depending on what suppressor you have, might take a little bit to get used to and the gun broken in. So another thing I just noticed here, we loaded another PMAG Gen 2. It is a 30 round mag and I have them loaded to 30, but when I insert the mag, I didn't do the bolt forward or anything. It just kind of jumps up there like that. I don't know why. It might be because this is FDE Cerakoted here and sometimes the mag well is a little bit tighter so it might squeeze the mag and kind of push that round up real goofy, but that's a instant malfunction there. Let's see if we can get it to happen again. So full mag, insert it. Yeah, same thing, it just like pops out there. So maybe for these PMAG Gen 2s, don't load 30 in it. We'll try one more time to just replicate it. So again, we got a 30 round Gen 2 PMAG and yeah, it just kind of rattles out. So just a heads up there, I guess PMAGs aren't the best maybe. All right, so we'll set that aside. So we have 29 rounds in this mag here. That works just fine. Let's throw our bolt forward and we're good now. All right, so I think we're good as far as the suppressor setting here. I do wanna throw, we have an e-brake for the Sandman S to try out on this, but I think that suppressor might be a little bit too hot right now to do that. So let's let this cool down. We'll get that e-brake on and then we'll get back to shooting. All right, so it's been a little bit. We let everything cool down and you can see I have the Sandman S still, but now we added the dead air e-brake to it. And then we have the 556 flash hider. So this is supposed to reduce the decibels by like maybe one or two yet, make it a little quieter. And you can see the little ports. It should hopefully uh, help with recoil too. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Go ahead and load this in. It's like first. Oh. Honestly, call me crazy, but I feel like I can tell a difference with the e-brake on it. Hmm. All right, pretty cool. Let's get some build drills in. All right, the recoil impulse on this is pretty amazing right now. Again, with the adjustable gas block, we have that tuned, the Sam Man S with the e-brake, it just kind of lugs in you. I think the only issue I'm running into as far as speed is the trigger. This is more of like a duty trigger. They call it their PSA enhanced trigger. But I think once we get some more rounds through it, it'll break in a little more and hopefully get a little faster. Ah, five. So talking about a couple things here, the Jackal, again, this is an AR-15 lower on the Jackal upper here. But one thing I've noticed when doing reloads, when the bolt locks back here is you do have a very small area to actually press this. You can't do like the hit on the AR-15, but I'm sure if you swap this out for maybe like an enhanced one, or if you add the Magpul bad lever, that could definitely help you with this issue here. So one of the coolest things, and everybody always asks about the Jackal, is can you shoot it folded? Because obviously an AR-15 you can't, unless you have a Law Tactical folder with the Law Tactical Eric. But of course my AK people, you guys are cool and you can shoot it folded. But with the Jackal, you actually can. So to demonstrate here, let's grab a mag, insert this, and we'll fold the stock back. And you could be a gangster here. And shoot it folded. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's actually pretty fun to do. Ha chow! Ha chow! Could actually aim it, deploy. <sighs> So yeah, you can shoot it folded. One other thing, again, we did add the e-brake with the Sandman S and just how quiet this is. This is a 13.7. I'm gonna take out my ear pro here. I don't have any on this side. Behind the shooter ear, it's just like a really loud clap. My ear's not even ringing right there, but it almost just sounds like a like that. 
very tolerable if you didn't have ear pro and you were in a fight or home defense situation you should be good to go e-brake with the sam and s pretty cool All right, real quick, we got about two mags left in our 500 round test, but I wanted to actually talk about what else is on the gun because I know everyone in the comments will ask. So going through it real quick, again, this is the PSA Jackal Pinden Weld J-Mac Flash Hider that accepts, accepts chemo. You have this ACR type stock here, which is pretty cool. It can lock up back and down for a small cheek riser. It is adjustable for the butt stock. You can bring it in or back. And then of course, as seen, this does fold and you can shoot it folded. The trigger in it, this is the stock trigger. It's a enhanced or polished trigger from PSA which actually is not bad at all. Mags, I used a bunch of different ones. This is the Amen 2 mag in here. The Amen 2 mags have been dropping freely. The P mags though have not. I almost have to give them a little tug out during this test. Optic up top here, if we zoom in, this is the Vector Optics combo. It's a 4X prism with a, uh, it's called their Frenzy Red Dot on top. They did send this one out. I'm testing it. It's a Chinese optic, yes. But this is actually the company that is doing a lot of the rebranding for optics you see on the market currently. So they make the OEM parts for all the rebranded optics that you're currently seeing. So I accepted this one to try out and see if the source of all these rebranded optics are actually good. On the front then we do have an HRT tactical flashlight with the omnidirectional switch here. Not a bad option, but if I had to change it, I would put a pad up top instead because it's a little much to get around the actual rail. On the side, I added some strike industry rail covers here as well as a BCM little grip. So that way I can actually get like a C clamp better. And then lastly, as we mentioned, we do have the dead air Sandman S on here with the e-brake and a 556 flash hider. So that rounds it out there. Let's go ahead and get the last couple mags in and see if we have any issues. The last mag, the 20 rounder with the vibes. I don't know, does this look cool? A little retro? Let me know in the comments what you think of the little retro mag. I think it looks kind of cool. Well, let's go ahead and get it. Oh, that's it. There we go. All right, so that does it for our 500 round test on the PSA Jackal 13.7. So did we have any malfunctions? The answer to that is I would say no. You did see we did have some malfunctions, but that was with tuning the gas block, getting the suppressor on there. Once we did get this tuned correctly with the adjustable gas block, we were good to go the whole time. So just know if you are gonna run a suppressor, it might take like a mag or so to get it tuned right. But the cool thing about this is it does have an adjustable gas block to allow you to do that. And then the only other thing we had was PMAG Gen 2. And if I loaded 30 rounds in this mag here and I inserted it into the gun, that top round would come out of the mag and it would just float in the chamber there. So when I go to release the bolt, it would actually cause a jam right away. So other than that, that's the only issues. And again, the P mags, let's see if this one, so that one did drop out. So it's kind of hit or miss on the P mags as far as them dropping out freely or not. But for all the Amen 2 mags, even the clear one that we had here, this one did drop out freely and we didn't have any issues with those. So there you have it, 500 rounds. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Would I recommend this gun from 500 rounds? I would say yes. I think this is a fun setup. It's super smooth, especially once we got things adjusted with the suppressor on it. But I'm excited to get a thousand or maybe 1500 rounds through this. See how it holds up with that. So stay tuned for possibly an updated video. If this was helpful, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.